All right. Good morning, everybody. I am Jaxler, and it is my pleasure and honor to bring you some pseudo regalia on this beautiful Thursday morning. Before we get started, I'd like to introduce my couch. Go right ahead. Hi, my name's Corundum Corey. You can call me Ruby, and this is Gibby the Quagsire. We're so proud of him. <laughs> yeah, let's get some hype for Gibby. Let's get some hype for Gibby. All right. So I just want to, before we even begin, say thank you so much for meeting the All Abilities incentive and also meeting the, uh, the Get the Tuxedo incentive as well. Thank you so, so much for your generous donations. Uh, you all are, I can't wait to show you all that goes into that. There's a whole lot of new stuff that we're going to be seeing. So if you've never seen this game before, this is an indie 3D Metroidvania that came out late last year. I like to pitch it to people as Castlevania 64 if it were actually good, um, but it's just got an amazing movement toolkit and engine and just so many cool ways to combo. Slide tech, flips, wall kicks, wall glides. It's just got the whole package. This game is super, super sick. So what did you all donate for? So all abilities as opposed to an any percent beat the game run means that we need to get all 10 major upgrades throughout Castle Sansa. So yeah, so without further ado, I'm going to need some help from the crowd to count me in here. Let's get it going in five, four, three, two, one, go. All right, welcome to Castle Sansa, everybody. This is our main player character, Sybil, the goat bunny lady. Um, she has no major abilities at the start. She can only really jump and side flip, which we'll mention in a moment. But we're going to be getting our first of our 10 uh, abilities, hence the namesake of the category. It's going to be Dream Breaker. This is going to be our primary weapon here. And it has this unique property where as you deal damage to enemies, it's going to build up a meter in the left-hand corner of the screen. And we can use some of that meter at certain levels to restore a pip of HP. And on top of that, it can also give us some passive buffs in combination with another ability we'll grab later on to the level. So I'm, you're actually going to uh, see me beat up on this egg fella right here so I can build up a little meter because we want to max out that bar by a certain point in the run. So one of the first tricks you're going to be seeing me do as we go into the cage room is something called a gainer. A gainer is a backflip that sends you forward. And so to do that, I'm going to put Sybil into a skid animation and then jump to activate a side flip, then redirect it forward. And that's going to allow me to get a higher jump than normal, and that lets me grab that cage where I wouldn't be able to with my standard jump. And that's going to be a foundational part of the movement toolkit in a lot of different setups as well. We're going to break this wall for later, and now we're going to be on our way to grab the slide. Once we get the slide, uh, things are going to snowball out of control, and I'm just going to let Ruby have the floor here while I start cooking. All right, absolutely. So, uh, like Jack said, the gainers basically put you in a skid animation, and then you jump, and you get a little bit extra height. The way that that works is that it takes your horizontal momentum and converts it to vertical momentum. So, slides give us a lot of horizontal momentum. We can combine that with a skid in order to get massive amounts of heights like that. Um, if you get the perfect timing, you get that little yellow after image on the slide as well. Um, you can also see a few slide hops, or sorry, uh, the bunny hops that we're doing there, doing a little bit of blind movement as we move through here. There's three ways to cancel your skids. One is falling off of a, or sorry, cancel your slides. Uh, one is falling off of a platform. One is uh, inputting another slide towards the end of your slide. And the third is to kind of pull back and initiate a skid towards the end of the slide. All right, so the reason we're in underbelly so early is that we can use our slide ultras to actually take the hidden secret entrance from dilapidated dungeon to underbelly. This has a couple of nice things for our route. For one, it gets us a shortcut to ascendant line, which is otherwise really cumbersome to find our way to. And on top of that, it's going to let us get strong eyes, which is normally a required mini boss fight. But by going this way, we can actually uh, make our way through here without having to see him once. Yeah, I got here a little too fast, so it kind of messed up. Uh, Ascendant Light is like kind of like the pogo from Hollow Knight, where you uh, damage enemies, torches, etc., and they give you an extra jump. And so now we're going to be making our way through here. You saw me do what's called a platform slide cancel, where I interrupted the end lag of the slide animation by doing it off a platform like that, and it allows me to preserve the speed in combination with some bunny hops. Now, as I make my way through here, we're also going to see me do some knee slides as I grab a small key on the way for our tuxedo incentive. So a knee slide is when you jump cancel, you jump cancel slide 
on the same frame. And that puts Sybil into a weird knee slide skid animation that can immediately be can jump canceled out of, giving us maximum uh, slide speed into the air and allow us to preserve that through bunny hopping. So that's going to be our, pretty much our fastest way of getting speed from a standstill. And we managed to get the ultra there at the end. Um, so I'll let you take over from here, Ruby. But uh, we're coming into one of my favorite parts of the run, which is the tower climb. Absolutely. So we're going to take a quick depth, death warp here. That'll get us up on top of the bridge that we're going to be crossing here. You're going to see some very tight spacing on that jump. Oh, we had Went to do for the, the ultra for backup. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Um, so if we can get the timing right here, you'll get to see some... Now, nah, still doing the slide hop here. Yeah, it's, that one's really risky. It really is risky. So we're basically just going to do some bunny hops in order to get to the top of this tower area. We've basically got to go in through the roof, so we're just going to see some really nice slide ultras here as we move through. A lot of these platforms are extremely tight. Here's the hard one. Got it. Good. Let's Not go. out of the woods yet. All so, right. Two so more in order to get to Kling Gem here, and we'll you'll see what that does for us in a little bit. Unfortunately, didn't get the cool strat, but we have backup. So one ultra. Oh, I beefed it. Okay, we're going to have to do a kind of annoying back hip here. Not a big deal. So we're going to... Nice. Okay, we got the back Nice back up. And that's going to get us Kling Gem. This allows us to wall run, and it's very critical that we get this early and kind of out of order because it's going to let us do some really heavy sequence breaking later. Uh, but as we're making our way to our next ability, uh, Pride, we've probably got about 30 seconds for donations here. Absolutely, and you know that I got those for you. We have $75 from CC's earliest fan, who says, love y'all and totally support your good work for AGDQ and Prevent Cancer Foundation. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, Moms. <laughs> We also have $50 from Zero Jedi, who says, I've never heard of Pseudo Regalia, but Jaxlar has been one of the highlights of the marathon so far. So I'm extremely hyped to watch this run before work. 800K, let's go! Let's go! We are only less than 4K away from $800,000 raised for charity. I know we can hit that during this run. Come on, everyone. All right, so we're going to grab Indignation right here. Uh, this is going to be an enhancement to our combat prowess. So when we have those additional levels in our soul meter, we get additional passives. So at level two, we get increased range, and at level three, we get double damage. Uh, so this is going to be kind of like a, a situation where I need to manage my health and make sure that I don't heal the intended way just to make sure I can keep that uh, double damage. And this is going to be for our Tuxedo Incentive. Thank you all so much for meeting that. Gonna take a quick step off the road to uh, make ourselves a little bit more professional here. And we're gonna be going for uh, Sun Greaves next. And this is where we're gonna get introduced to our first clean clip after we get Sun Greaves. But I'm also gonna make, just in case, I'm gonna make a safety save inside of Listless Library here. Uh, because I'm feeling re reckless and risky, I'm gonna go for some unsafe strats that are hype as heck. So. Uh, Ruby, take it from here. Absolutely. All right, so we need to get the after image uh, slide ultra right there in order to get up here. Uh, we're going to get Sun Greaves, which basically gives us the ability to do three wall kicks. Um, but because of the way that we entered this room, we don't actually have the way to get out. Um, but we also didn't hit any invisible checkpoints. So we're going to do what's called a cling clip here. So we're going to see... Oh, oh that is second. really, really close. So essentially what we're doing is similar to the uh, forward back that we do for a gainer or a slide hop, we're doing a left and right to confuse the game on the yes. position. Perfect. Basically, confuse the game of the position of where we are when we initiate the cling, and that will allow us to clip through the wall like you just saw. Those are incredibly hard to do, and Jax makes this look way easier than it is. All right, so uh, heading up here, we're going to take this uh, small key shortcut to get up to Castle uh, Ca uh, Sansa Keep. And I did not uh, have the opportunity nor the guts to go for this during... Uh, we did this at GDQX for any percent, uh, but we did not show off this strat. So this is the advanced uh, keep key skip. So let's see if we get this. This is very difficult. Going to do two reverse wall kicks. All right, so what I'm going to do is reset my resources right here. Come on, Sybil. Okay, there's a clip. Here we go, first half. Got the jump. Come on. Come on, come on. We're in. Let's nice. go. So we're not out of the woods quite yet. That's one of the hard parts. Although this one is arguably even harder. This is believed to be frame perfect. Almost got it right there on the first try. That would have been hype. But 
We need to do a very... Oh, we... Oh, no, oh, we no, reversed! No! Oh, my goodness. All right, give me one second here. We're getting a couple of... Uh, it's a, basically a frame-perfect right press input on the stick, so it's pretty tricky. Normally, I use the D-pad here, uh, but, but it's been having some issues getting that to work uh, with that setup, so... There we there go, we we're go. in. Nice. Let's go. And the strats don't stop piling on from there. Uh, this is actually a pretty new uh, development that I found for this route. We're going to make use of the fact that there's a hole in the ceiling right here to get ourselves out of bounds. And then I'm going to do an ultra right here and redirect it to the side. We're going to set up a knee slide. We're going to ultra up here. And this is the room with strike break. We're going to vibe right through the ceiling and grab strike break. So normally you're supposed to fight a made mini boss here in order to be able to um, open the gate. Um, but because we already have strike break, we don't need to worry about the gates at all. So we're just out of there. And we're going to be making our way. Ooh, Ooh, okay, nice there we go. We're going to hit that just for safety's sake. And now we're making our way down to underbelly. So normally, in order to use this exit of underbelly, we're supposed to have sunsetter, which is our ground pound move to break those barriers. But nope, we're going to clip right by it. No worries. And now we're coming up on probably like one of the uh, silliest uh, major keys to break. Pretty much every category has a different way of approaching this room. And uh, all abilities is no exception to this. So, oop, OK. Backing it up. That's the fun thing about this game, right? Is even like if you don't hit the main strat, even backing it up is just super fun to mess with. All right, so this is kind of a new setup that I've been working workshopping. Nice. Okay, gets us up there. And we're gonna do a big, big ultra right there. Wall glide around the corner. Grab the major key and death warp. There we go. That was so clean. All right, and so we're just going to be backtracking back the way we came here. So, Pride, the floor is yours for about, I'd say, 45 seconds. Absolutely. I have 2599 from The Hellfridge, yeah. who says, I know Jaxler from my time running Lunistus, and he's just an overall great egg. Super happy to see him on the GDQ stage playing one of the best 3D platformers, period. You rock. Yo, uh, thanks, Hailfridge. I appreciate it. So, Jaxler, I have checked, and it turns out this game only costs $5.99. So how about you mention the price of this wonderful game frequently while the rest of chat jumps on this $5.99 hype train? Absolutely. Best Absolutely. Of luck. Yeah, no, this game, literally $5.99 on, on Steam. Amazing 3D Metroidvania. Absolute steal. Make sure you pick it up. This game is so, so, so good. And you're not even seeing half of it throughout yeah. this run. All right, so this is kind of a new setup. I'm going to do what's called a reverse wall kick, which is where I start a wall kick behind the wall and then move Sybil towards the wall so the wall kick sends me straight up into the air. Let's see if we get the hype ultra. Oh, we clear the ledge. Let's, Let's go. go. Nice. You have to set up that ultra as you're sliding in to collect Sunsetter there. So now we are going into the danger zone. This is theater. This is by far the hardest part of any category, especially the extended categories like all abilities and hundo especially. Uh, this first room is going to start out with a set cycle here. So I'm going to be quiet for a little bit. If you want to cover Ruby, go right ahead. Absolutely. So what we're going to be doing is making our way as quickly as possible uh, through this room, we've got to do some clings in order to get up and do a little bit of sequence breaking. And this will get us into this swinging axe room. And so we need to make sure that we're avoiding these because they will put us all the way back at the beginning. And that is slow. Going to do one, two, three, four, five. Ooh. Did you save it? I got it. You got, got it. it. Let's go. See, this uh -oh. is what we're... Yeah, okay. That's all um, right. So you that's going to put work. me down here. So, oh, how do I back this one up? Ooh, <laughs> I don't like this one. All right, we're just going to go back and do the strat again real quick. Yeah. Uh, so this level is broken up into sort of three major wings each that end in flipping a lever. And uh, what we're going to end up doing is some roundabout strats in order to completely skip uh, those wings. So here's our middle wing right here. We just skipped a really big fight, and then we're going to use wall clean clips to completely bypass the other two. So we're going to hit this one through the wall. We're going to vibe at the floor, and we're going to make our way right through. Turn the camera, and then we're going to go for one more right here, and then depending on how this goes, we'll change the strat we go for here. Uh, let's see. Come on. And Sybil likes to be a little cranky on this one sometimes. There we go. There we go. And we're going to vibe, air kick, 
and that's gonna put us inside this hallway, and we're gonna go to the major key. But we're not done yet, because we gotta go grab Soul Cutter. This is one of the trickiest parts, so I'll let Ruby cover it. Yeah, absolutely. We're gonna do like five wall clips yeah, in very quick succession. Uh, so we've got that one right here. Gonna do some out of bounds movement. Uh, gonna push and through there. there. We go. Perfect. Gonna grab Soul Cutter here. This is basically like a ranged attack that you can do in combination with Strike Break. Um, and now we're gonna do the funniest looking clip in the run. Uh, I call it the bonk clip. Bonk. <laughs> All right, and now we're gonna do some incredibly precise out of bounds movement. Um, basically, we're just trying to make our way back uh, over. Oh, to I might the get this. Oh, oh we got goodness. the animals. Let's go. You need perfect ultra right there in order to make that one happen. So oh one, goodness. two, Three, four, five, six. There we go. Count with me. If you want to explain wall cutting regrabs. Absolutely. So if you hold diagonally into a corner, normally you're not allowed to grab onto the same wall that you've just been gliding on. But if you are in a corner like that and you're holding diagonally, it'll allow you to re-grab. You can get uh, up to six of those. Five, technically, if you don't count the original jump. Now we are in Empty Bailey. We've got uh, one more movement upgrade that we need to get, and then we will be getting a key. Yeah, this is Solar Wind. So this is our slide jump upgrade. And this is something you normally don't get to see outside of uh, all abilities, which is doing a slide ultra, and then you just do the wall kick to put you back through where you came, and then you maintain the slide speed into another ultra. One, two, three. That gets us all the way up here, up and over the wall, into a major key. Ultra out of that speed. One, two, three, count with me, there we go. And now we're on top of the castle wall here. We got all 10 of our abilities here, one more major key right outside the final boss door. So we've got about 45 more seconds before we got to start focusing in on the final fight. So Pride, take it away. Absolutely, and I have a $1,000 donation Let's from Anonymous. Go. And they say, and the greatest of these is love. Aww. I also have 585 from Carbon, who says, Hi, Jaxler. Just sending some love from your fellow Rochesterians. You always play the most fun-looking games, and it's always a good time to watch you run. Good luck with the goat bunny lady. Thank you so much. Shout out to Rochester Rivals. We love you all so much. Oh, wow, I actually got that, okay. So that's a really tight spacing to, uh, to basically chain the double ultra right there. We got one more major strat. Nailed it, nice, oh, there we go. So that good. skips all of the uh, tutorial bits for the wall glide. Our final major key is up here, and then we're going to be going into the final fight versus the princess. Now, in 100%, you have so much that you can basically destroy her very quickly. Uh, but in any percent, and by some degree, uh, all abilities, this fight is much more difficult. I'm pretty, gonna, pretty much going to be silent for the rest of the run to attempt to not die. And I'm just going to let Ruby take over and see, uh, tell you what you're going to see here. All right, absolutely. We are going to drop through into the fight arena for Princess. We're going to try and get two hits on her in the air. That's one. That's two. Great. All right, so that's actually the attack that we want to see the most of, that little swing. Uh, that gives us the best opportunity to get some hits in. Um, this green orb is basically just going to litter the battlefield a little bit. Um, Thankfully, she's being relatively nice with the attacks right now. Yeah, she's seeing really close to me, too. That's halfway. And All we got right. Bebe. That's fine. Good yeah. to see it early. Yeah, unfortunately, this is definitely the slowest attack that she can do. And get ready on time, because we are going to be close. Wow, she's giving me no orbs yet. That's great. Oh, and I spoke too soon. Yep. This is the very scary attack that can kill me pretty quick. Oh my gosh! <laughs> that was so Holy fast, we didn't even know! crap! Oh my goodness! That's one of the best freaking princess fights I've had in a while. Probably all week in practice. Yeah, seriously, that was so quick we Good. didn't even recognize time. <laughs> Good God, alright! <laughs> That's how we do it, baby. All right, All right. I got right. to see. Wow. 1638, final time, 1724. All right, not too too bad. Yeah. All right. Whew. That was pseudo regalia, all abilities, everybody. I hope you all enjoyed that. Yeah. All right. 
Before I get out of here, I just want to shout out a couple of people. I want to shout out Ritz, who's the developer behind this game. Thank you for making something so amazing, so beautiful, and for fostering such a kind and amazing community around your projects as well. Thank you for supporting our speedrunning scene. We super appreciate you. I want to shout out the pseudo regalia community as well. I want to shout out runners like Thulius, Yoshichi, who was going to be here but couldn't make it, Killing Pepsi, Outlier, everyone else who's ever worked on this game, done a run or come and played uh, randomizer with us. This game's community is super awesome. We've got a Discord channel in uh, the Devs Discord, which is called the Goodbye Sunlight Discord. If you go to speedrun.com slash pseudo regalia, you can find a link to that Discord. Come join us. We'd be more than happy to teach you the basics of the movement and the run. Um, but holy crap, this was so freaking fun. I, I hope this convinced you to get the game because like I said, it's like $5.99 on Steam. It's a complete steal. Amazing game. Has a great randomizer with Archipelago support, which is mind-blowing to me. Um, and I'm just, again, super grateful to be here as well. Uh, Ruby, do you have any shout-outs? Uh, shout-outs to the S-Rock crew. We've got a couple of them backstage yeah, right there on the back couch. Um, other than that, uh, yeah, shout outs to Power Up with Pride, uh, another awesome marathon. Um, and again, thank you so much for letting us show off this game. This, yeah, this, this game is like a, a pet project of so many of us, and it's just, it's so fun to cook with this game. Thank you to GDQ for letting me show this off and Whiplash earlier in the week. I freaking love speedrunning. Y'all are the best. <laughs> um, if you want to catch more of my nonsense, I tend to run weird games that no one's ever heard of before. You can find me at twitch.tv slash jaxler1. Going to be doing this, some more Whiplash, and all sorts of kind of different games I got on the backlog. So hope to see some of y'all there. All right. Enjoy the rest of the morning. Stick around for Skater Gator. Catch y'all later. Bye. Bye.